on the other side of the bypass. You can see me Land Rover over there. Yeah. Anyway, we're just in this side of the woods, exploring a few anomalies that I found on a couple of old maps. And the first thing I've come across here looks to be an old post. It's been sawn down and it's rotten away mostly now, but it looks to me like that might, may well have been a telegraph post or something. Radio lines, I don't know. But where I want to go is the far right hand corner. So uh, unless I find anything, I'll get back to over there. Right, the wife and my youngest, it appears they found, I think they're bomb stores, according to my friend. Oh, you alright boy? Yeah. Right, come grab my hand. It's going to climb up here. Um, yeah, I think these are bomb stores. So let's get my fat self and my dodgy knee up this bugger. Come on boy. Ah. Arse over ten. Mint. There we go. Right, Lachlan. Stay, you stay there one minute. I'm trying to get a good aerial shot in. But... Oh, there we go. Yeah, after we went arse over tip once. Yeah. Let's investigate. Hello. Let's uh, get yourself in there. Let's have a little look. Looks like. This to be open. Well, we can't actually see. And I can't find a way to get around it. Um, it actually looks like a whole enclosure. I see more brickwork over there. Ah, let, me, let me see what I can find. <laughs> over there. Just over there. Let's see a little something. Gonna go and hobble over. I'm not sure if this is private land we're on or not, but we're getting close to a fence, which is private land, for definite. Oh, it is squishy, mate, yeah, it's quite marshy. Yeah. That, I'm not sure what that is. That is definitely something, and it is just on private land, I reckon. Yep, it's just behind the fence. Ah. Well that, I'm not sure what it was, but by the thickness, it's definitely World War. Aha! Uh -huh. With a tree growing out of it and hidden in an embankment. We also have something here. Let me get right. over there. I know for definite I'm not supposed to be in here. The barbed wire fence I just climbed over told me that. But this is what I'm coming in for. Let's get into it here. Ah. Do you know what? I'm about sick of getting prickled and stabbed with barbed wire and thorns. Pardon my French. Hello. Now, I have not got a clue what I am stood in. Not the tiniest clue whatsoever. But, here I am. Now, if you look here, we've got a big crack coming through here, which is no doubt caused by this tree. Which, uh, says to me this is pretty dangerous to be fair. I wouldn't advise anyone coming over for doing it. I mean, yeah you can probably get away with it, but if you do, I didn't tell you to. You know what I mean? On your own head be it as they say. But yeah, I wonder if I can get a little 
on the other side without getting myself into a bit of stuck. No, it's just all back full of earth. Maybe that's how it was originally. Like a bank like this one to shelter it from explosions maybe. I don't know. Like I say, I'm still learning this stuff. Anyway, onward to where I wanted to go to start with. Cows, mate, yeah, you're right. Cows give us milk. Cows give us milk. They also lead us to big bits of concrete hidden behind fences that I couldn't see. There is a gap here to go in. So we know how savage a cow can be. I don't want to risk it chewing my arms or legs off. I can make this out on the camera, but there is a definite circle in the undergrowth where it's yeah I'm not sure if you can make that out but it's clear as day with your eye I wonder what could have been there hmm maybe it was a place where the planes parts were not in use I don't know I'm not sure how big they'd be but I believe they were little, the little round bits that's jutted out on all the maps that I found. More cows? Yeah. Wow. So we're uh, getting to where I want to be going anyway. It might be nothing, but I found stuff on an old map and that's what I look. Right. Let's see. We literally just stumbled across this embankment here. And down, we found this, which is exactly the same as the ones I found on the other side of the road. It's got the uh, iron rings on it. Um, I do not have a clue what this is. I'm assuming it's some sort of bomb storage. can't really see inside that, which I wasn't expecting anyway, but it was exactly the same on the other side. Complete with these rings, etc. This sloping concrete roof that appears to go back quite some way, but I don't know. And this seems to be going for quite a way this way. So we're going to work our way around. And see what I can find. Because we're now nearing where I want it to be anyway. So that's it. Where's you on for a minute? Well, we've got a big mound here. Embankment. Embankments are natural protection for blast waves. Which uh, I'm sure people know. And they were used for that thing. today and we'll climb this embankment <laughs> because we all know the embankments hide surprises. Whoa that is a big bit of concrete and it has a hole straight through it. I don't know if you can see. Wow that's a big bit of concrete. That didn't get there on its own. There's also another couple and some more of this shelter, which is what I think I found on the map. Now I'm here. This map piece here actually is shown on Google Earth, I believe. Yeah, this is, this is where I should be on the map. I wonder if I can get around to it. 
fat disturbing A, a farmer, and B, his cows. Jesus, look at that for a chunk of concrete. Some cows. Well, right, let's make this quick. So I don't want to get shot. There we are, look. Carries on. Got some machine for further. Can't tell. You see the concrete just under the moss and the grass. Do can't let it disappear off. There's another embankment there. Yeah, these have got to be bomb stores. With all these embankments around them, it has to be. Alright, let's now see what else we've found. Concrete. I believe this one's being in situ. I uh, find that many around now, I'm starting to believe that maybe they were old farming fence posts or something, I'm not sure. As we are just right on the edge of the farmland. Uh, we're working our way round to try and get back to the first thing I found to see if I can get on top to get a view inside it. Uh, it's actually beautiful weather today, which is alright. Making not so much out of a slog, even when we're dodging eh? Um But yeah, it's actually quite nice out. Enjoying a little bit of the exercise, to be fair. Makes a change. Some more of the old uh, trackway. Right, up, we're up at the bit where it darts through to uh, Birchwood Woods. Yeah, this is where all the reprobates come with all their milk bikes and stuff, etc. Yeah. Um, I've recently joined a group called Friends of, Friends of RF Skellingford, which um, is actually really good and it's teaching me a lot of stuff about it. And uh, it's actually them that are opening up all these trails again, and they're planning on doing some sort of trail for people to follow. Sadly, on this estate, nobody's going to be interested and they're all going to wreck it, probably steal all the tools, etc. Yeah, and just generally vandalise it, which is a shame. Now as I'm rambling away, I've stumbled across some bricks and the bunker. Sweetheart, I found something. Where is it? I can't see properly the construction. Otherwise I would have said it's... Hmm, do you know what it is? I think it's just a pile of rubble. I think it was something. They smashed it up, piled it up, and shit's grown over it. If I'm perfectly honest, I think we've stumbled across a pile of World War II rubbish. <sighs> Let me investigate further. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it was something, and I think they've collapsed it in on itself. Just collapsed it on itself and just left it. I think that's what's gone on there, if I'm totally honest. A little outbuilding or something, or store or something. And I'll say that again because we've got more embankments here, which look to me like they've been put rather than a natural, because this is quite a flat bit of countryside, if I'm totally honest. But, uh, I'm just going to go over and check out. I don't know what it there. is, but there's a definite bank here, and a definite bank here, there's a gully running through the middle. No, it doesn't look natural. The wife has just uh, excavated, I use the term loosely because she used a stick, um, this corner piece, which is at the end of that gully I was just in. It says to me, this was something. Right now we're just going to go and check to see if we can find the other end on the and other side of the gully. And here we have found the returning edge. Or I don't know, I guess this might have been an opening and this a blast wall because you can see it's double thickness this end. And it goes right back to where that stick's picking sticking up just there. Which is uh, in line with this embankment. So, yeah, as I've been theorising all the way along, the embankments are something. Maybe all these mounds that I keep finding are too. Anyway, let's crack back on. Yeah boy! Oh, someone's dropped.
hopefully. I think he's had enough of exploring. Oh, no. I had him around now and found another bit of concrete, just unearthed it with my feet. Which leads off that way and that way. And actually this way, back to where I just was. The truck's just over there, parked in a lay-by. And here is the mound that we was trying to discover well, the first thing we came across, which I'm not even sure what it is, but the top's open. The top is open. I'm getting up there, and I'm seeing what the bloody hell it is. Right, YouTube, you better start appreciating the work I go into for these videos. Oh, I've just climbed up on this bank. Well, shelter. I don't know what it is, but I just got pricked to fuck getting up there. I mean. Yeah, it really hurt. Uh, so now I'm making my way along the top. Whoa, buggery. Whatever. Lovely. Well, I'm trying to see what's the fuck's in it. Pardon my French people. But I am determined to get the shot before I leave. My wife now informs me that there used to be a roof on this. And it's probably fallen in. Nice. Cheers for that. Oh yeah. It's definitely fallen in. I can't really go much further than that. Can anybody see? There's a hole. Hole. Yeah, and a whole load of chunky fallen in concrete. Ah. I guess that pretty much brings me to the end then. Um, I ain't got anything else I can show you. So, this is everything that I know of that I can find on uh, RAF Scanning Fort, um, aka Birchwood. But, uh, yeah, feel free to come and have a wander around and find what you like. You may find some stuff better than me, or maybe let me know about some stuff that I don't even know about. Um, yeah. Also, there was a rumour I heard 20 years ago about a tank buried on the other side. Apparently got stuck, they couldn't get it out, so they buried it. This may just be a rumour, this may be a tall tale, I don't know. So if you know, please get in contact. Please like and subscribe, um, fucking more bug of that. Please like and subscribe the video. Um, yeah, I've got 16 massive subscribers and thank you to you all. But yeah, I want to grow to a thousand, so. Please like, please subscribe, keep the channel going. Thank you, bye bye.